Welcome back to Offbeat Gyan. This video will provide you with a summary of Book 3 of A. Shivanandan's novel When Memory Dies. Book 3 is called False Memories. Book 2 My Roots No Rain. Book 1 Forgotten Mornings. The protagonist of Book 3 is Vijay. Vijay is the son of Rajan and Lali. He is actually the son of Lali and Sena and had been adopted by Rajan when Sena passed away and Rajan married Lali. Rajan, his father, lives in England after the brutal murder of Lali. So Vijay lives with his grandparents and memories of his mother crowd his mind. Rajan is a distant memory in his mind. He comes once in a while to meet his son. And Vijay thinks back to his 13th birthday or his 13th year when he had got a book, an encyclopedia, sorry, a dictionary from his father. He has to keep looking at Rajan's photo to refresh his memories, but his mother's memories are vivid and he feels guilty. He felt that he had failed in saving her life. His one ambition as a child had been to avenge her death. The reasons for her brutal death were complex and he was gradually trying to understand why it had happened. He was striving to find a meaning in all that had happened. His conversations with his uncle Lal helped him come to terms with the situation. She had died because she had tried to protect her Tamil husband. And Lal said that something like that should never have happened. Thus, Vijay learned to understand the reasons for his mother's death. She had never thought of the difference between a Tamil and a Sinhalese and she had died for it. Vijay also learned to find a meaning and purpose for his life. At 16, he had joined the banned People's Liberation Front. His grandmother knew that he was planning something and tension was building up between them. He had never been a full-fledged member of the PLF and he had actually left the organization to complete his graduation. Padirana, his grandpa, sensed the tension between grandparent and child. He had been too busy saving his crops from the drought and had ignored the tension between his grandson and his wife. They talked about Raman, their Tamil labourer, who would soon be forced to leave Sri Lanka and go to India under the new policies. Soma, his grandmother, pointed out to his grandfather that the boy was secretive and had plans to join the war against Sinhalese once he completed his graduation. She said that he was only fooling them by showing off his studiousness. Vijay had been deeply disturbed when his closest friend Deva had been killed, when the Sinhalese police had opened fire at a Tamil cultural congress in Jaffna. The government was also forcing out the Tamil coolies from plantations and sending them to India. His grandmother was deeply anxious. She had lost her son Sena her daughter-in-law Lali, whom she considered as her daughter, and now her grandson was also in harm's way. He promised her that he would not join the PLF again. He promised her that he would find a job and settle down. Soon, the rains arrive and the drought is replaced with severe flooding. Padirana loses everything. It is a bleak perspective. Despite the best efforts of Vijay, Raman and himself, the crops are completely flooded. Vijay is restless and soon he leaves to meet his friend Gamini to study with him. He had actually planned to meet Lal but Hatton was completely flooded. There had been landslides there. His grandfather gives him some money despite the bad situation. His grandmother cooked his favorite food for him. He arrives at Gamini's place. The place was deserted and in a bad condition. Once upon a time, the family had been rich. Gamini's father, Herath, had been a schoolmaster who belonged to a family of prosperous Ayurveda physicians. Soon, Ayurveda lost its charm. 
the family lost their wealth and prestige herath hoped that they would regain everything when sri lanka became independent in 1948 but their lost fortune never returned Herat got married in 1948 to a fellow school teacher and they had two children Padma and Gamini they still lived in the large sprawling ancestral house and then Sinhala became the official language and in the school the Tamil teacher the Tamil headmaster was replaced by Herat but he could not enjoy his success for long he died of kidney failure when gamini was 12 and padma was at teacher training college gamini's mother tried to maintain the house and the family for her children vijay had first met the beautiful padma when she was 19 and he was 15 she was a good listener and he had fallen in love with her she had helped him make sense of his guilt at not helping his mother survive she had explained that each one of them had their own strengths vijay had arrived on her death anniversary and mrs bandara gamini's mother was glad to see him she told him that padma would have been 25 that year if she had lived gamini arrives after getting caught in a fight in the market trying to protect a 9 year old starving tamil girl who had tried to steal a piece of stale bread Padma, Vijay, and Gamini had been members of the PLF, but Vijay and Gamini had not been full-fledged members, so they had escaped. Padma had been a section commander in the PLF. She had been caught and tortured by the Sinhala Sri Lankan Army and then shot dead in the 1971 rebellion. Mrs. Bandara was angry with life. old and alone she blamed padma for getting involved in other people's fights and fighting for them and that had led to her brutal death vijay is a symbol of the united tamil sinhala struggle for socialism and liberation padma was vijay's political guide the intellectuals and academics who had supported the 1971 rebellion against the sinhala nationalist government had lost their strength and vision the rebellion had failed and many like padma had died vijay is disillusioned by the situation and joins an organization called rights and justice the group understands the growing divisions and polarization in sri lanka they understand that new methods are required to mobilize people against a divisive sinhala nationalism vijay is sent to meet the boys the new tamil guerrilla organization in northern sri lanka the group was very popular and had ground level tamil support the boys responded to the violent attacks on the tamils by the sinhalese goons the young rebels were at first welcomed by the tamil community because they fought for the tamils but soon the politics of the guerrilla groups also began to unravel in book 2 a shivanandan depicts how working class unity had been destroyed by sinhala nationalism in book 3 he criticizes the brutal nature of tamil nationalism The background of the novel describes the increasing anti-Tamil violence unleashed by the Sinhala government and state-sponsored goons. But there were liberal Sinhalese activists like Vijay, Dhanapala, Sharat, and Damayanti who worked hard to build bridges and unite the working-class people of all races. In the beginning the boys work together and respond to anti-Tamil violence but in 1981 when the Jaffna library was burnt down such efforts fall apart The mass murders of Tamils makes the boys take up arms and then divisions crop up within them then they split into various groups and soon become terrorists Sharath explains that the Tamil youth in Sri Lanka in the 1980s are deprived of everything and so they take up guns. Uncle Para who is nearly 80 by this time and had supported the boys turns against them and their 
narrow-minded groupism. The Tamil militant groups had started fighting among themselves and they had forgotten the cause of the ordinary Tamil people. The memories of working class unity were forgotten. Para explains to Vijay that when memory dies, a people die. Para says that language, race and religion had become divisive and arrogant forces of power. They had encouraged fascism and the Tamils were trapped in this vicious cycle. Yogi, a character in the novel, is a member of the Liberation Fighters for Elam or Life, which stands for the actual Liberation Tamil Tigers Elam or the LTTE. Vijay explains to Yogi that socialism cannot be attained through violence and those who have power are not willing to share it. People like Para, Vijay, Lal and Lali carry the vision of socialism for the masses through the union of all people in Sri Lanka despite their linguistic and racial differences. In book 3, Para dies. It is a natural death. Vijay is shot dead by his cousin Ravi, the self-appointed commander of life. With the killing of Vijay, the novel ends on a bleak note. Meena, Sanji's daughter. Sanji is Rajan's friend. Meena, Sanji's daughter, whose life had been saved by Lal, comments on his death that Ravi had killed the only decent thing left in this land. We will never be whole again. With this, book three ends. I hope it is clear and all the best to all those who are appearing for the exams. Thank you.